Hey, Michael from Black Snow Comics here. Um, today I was going to talk to you a little about digital art versus traditional art. Um, so drawing with pen and paper versus drawing on your computer, basically. Uh, I've done quite a bit of both over the years. There used to be kind of more of a stigma with digital drawing. People kind of, I don't know, they had like a weird attitude, like, like it was kind of cheating in some way or it wasn't quite looked as highly upon as um, drawing traditionally. I think that's mostly gone away now, um, but it is something I kind of noticed. I always thought was kind of odd. Um, I, it's not cheating. Um, doing both, you have to have skill to get both done. Um, some of the advantages of each one, um, traditional art, all you need is your pencil and your paper and that's about it. Uh, I mean, you could have an eraser and a pen, maybe some markers, but that it, it's not a high cost and it's easy to like put together a little drawing kit and just go draw. Um, whereas your, your digital art, you need some kind of, well, some kind of digital drawing device. Uh, for me, I have um, a Wacom uh, Intuos Pro Medium right now, um, but I've used, like when I first started, I used the bamboo. Um, sometime I'd like to upgrade to a full tablet, um, like the Cintiq or uh, maybe an X-Pen or something. Those are things I'm looking at for um, hopefully the near future. So there's more of an investment up front because they cost money. Um, it's gone down from what it was, but they're still they're still pricey. I mean, for this, you're still looking at several hundred dollars to, to get it going. And on top of the physical hardware, you're going to need software, something to draw in. Um, I draw a lot in Photoshop. I know people use different things. Um, I have friends that use like Manga Studio. Um, I know some people prefer to draw on Illustrator. Um, there's different things, but there's costs associated with them. Um, some of them are more expensive than others. Um, some of them have different pricing tiers. Um, I've just drawn in Photoshop for a long time, so it's what I'm used to. Um, so up front, more of a cost, um, but once you're actually drawing, what's, what's the advantages, disadvantages? Um, it's when you're drawing digitally, it's a lot easier to correct mistakes and to make larger changes. To correct a mistake, all you have to do is push undo and you go back. Um, you could for me, it's just duplicate a layer before you try changing some things. And if you don't like the way it's changed, just go back to the old copy. Um, there's a lot of things you can do that you can't just do with paper. If you want to say, you want to see, well, what if I made this part a few shades darker? You can. If you don't like it, you can revert it. If you're doing that, just drawing on a paper, it's going to take a lot more time. Sometimes, like if you're already doing it in ink, you're not going to be able to fix certain mistakes. You can work around them, but it's not the same thing. Beyond that, there's a lot more you can manipulate digitally. Um, but some of the reasons why you might prefer traditional drawing, if once you're used to it, I mean, you can get really precise. I can get my pen brush to usually do exactly what I want and it feels like I know exactly how it's gonna move on the paper I know what kind of shape it's gonna make I know how lightly to do it and everything's one-to-one -one because it's all there it's all physical um, digitally one of my biggest challenges well as good as my thing is it's not perfect it's not a one-to-one -one feeling I can't do like exactly the same thing on on this um, that I can on a piece of paper. It doesn't feel quite quite the same. Um, also, the one thing that took me a while to get used to, and this if if you're doing a setup similar to mine, this is going to be your biggest hurdle. You're drawing here, and you're looking here. So what you're doing 
is not correlating exactly to what you're seeing, that, that can kind of trip you up, especially at first. You gotta really get used to that. When you're looking at a paper, where the pen's touching the paper is where the mark's gonna be. When you're doing it on this kind of tablet, you're looking at a screen, your hands down here are doing it, so you have to make this kind of association between the two. That's not always intuitive and it takes a while to get used to. Um, but like I said, there's a lot more you can do easily when you are doing the digital art. Um, for instance, in Photoshop, you can, like if I wanted to clone something and I could do that quickly. Um, if I wanted to make it look like I was using a paintbrush, I can. If I wanna make it look like markers, I can. There's a lot of effects you can do too that um, kind of, they don't, some of them replicate what you're doing traditionally. Some of them are unique things to digital. Uh, so they both have their advantages. Um, I like to do a lot of mixing. I always have where I'll draw things on paper, scan it in, and then I'll either like touch it up or typically color it in in uh, digital. Um, and for me, I don't know that that's always been kind of a good comfort zone for me. Um, I do I do like doing fully traditional where if I want to color, I'll get markers on things. But I'm a little more comfortable doing the coloring part digitally, and then. I will draw fully digitally, but again, I'm a little more comfortable actually like putting down the line and in ink on a paper. So, I mean, you could always do a mixture of the two like I do. Um, there's a lot of choices with it, and my opinion may be a little different in the future if I do end up getting something a little more high end where I'm drawing directly on a screen. That may feel a lot closer to drawing on a paper or drawing traditionally. Um, but for now, I, I don't know, I couldn't really tell you which one I prefer overall. I think I can, I think I do better things when I draw traditionally, I guess I would say, but I also think I can make it look better if I combine that and touch it up digitally and and add some colors and effects to it there. So I wouldn't say that I really prefer one over the other. I, I prefer them for different things, I guess. But you might be different. Um, you can let me know your thoughts on it and, and your experience and I'd be interested in hearing. All right.